Hello future astronauts, let's buckle up and back on an incredible space journey. Today's question is, what if you could walk on Saturn's rings? First things first, let's get to know our destination, Saturn, the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn was first observed by Galileo Galilei in 1610. Later, in 2004, a brave explorer named Cassini Space Probe arrived here. It orbited Saturn for 13 years, showing us this beautiful gas giant like never before. Let's get started with our journey to Saturn now. A trip to Saturn would be quite an adventure. With today's technology, it would take us about 7 years to travel, roughly 746 million miles from Earth to Saturn. That's like going around the Earth more than 30,000 times. Now let's talk about these beautiful rings. They are made of countless particles of ice, each one orbiting Saturn like a tiny moon. Imagine a snow globe, but instead of snow falling down, it's constantly swirling around. These particles range from as tiny as grain of a sand to as big as a small mountain. Saturn isn't the only planet with rings, but its rings are by far the most magnificent. They stretch out over 1,75,000 miles. That's almost the distance from Earth to the Moon. But they are surprisingly thin, generally less than one mile thick. What's even more interesting is how the rings got there. Scientists believe they could be remnants of comets, asteroids, or even a moon that got too close to Saturn and was torn apart by its powerful gravity. But despite being such a dominant feature, the rings are relatively new. Compared to Saturn's age of over 4 billion years, these rings are likely just less than 100 million years old. Hilarious as it may sound, but 100 million years is like a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. Look. Now we are standing on the edge of Saturn's outermost ring. It's called E-ring. Let's take a step. Oh, wait. These rings are not like a sidewalk. Instead, you sink through icy particles or bounce off a big chunk of ice. It would be like trying to walk on a ball pit. Some scientists think these icy particles came from Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, which shoots out icy jets from its surface. Imagine a massive snow-making machine, but in space. As we travel inward, we pass through the G and F rings, which are narrow and faint. Think of these as quiet country lanes of the ring system. But wait, before we continue our journey, let's take a pit stop on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Yes, Saturn's largest satellite, Titan. It is closer to Saturn than some of its outer rings. Titan is larger than planet Mercury and is the only moon in our solar system with a substantial atmosphere of its own. This atmosphere is so dense that it's hard to see the surface of Titan. However, we know from Cassini Huygens' mission that Titan has lakes, rivers and rain. But instead of water, these are filled with methane and ethane. That's like having liquid natural gas flowing on its surface. After our pit stop, let's continue our journey onwards. Now we reach the main rings, the A, B and C rings. Here the traffic gets dense. The particles are more packed together, creating a stunning display of light and color. The rings glisten as the ice particles reflect sunlight. Finally, we come to the D ring, the innermost and the faintest ring. The particles here are so tiny and thinly spread it's like navigating through a gentle snow flurry. Throughout our journey, we have seen the icy makeup of these rings. But do you know, these icy particles are mostly water ice with a dash of rocky material. These rings are more than just beautiful. They are the our key to understanding Saturn. The way they move, the way they interact can tell us a lot about planet's composition and history. Now, it's time for some fun-filled interesting facts about Saturn. So here we go. First, Saturn can float over water. If you could find an ocean big enough, Saturn would actually float on its surface. 
That's because it's a gaseous planet and its average density is less than that of water. It's the only planet in our solar system with this unique characteristic. Second fact, Saturn has the shortest day. Despite being the second largest planet in our solar system, Saturn has the shortest day, lasting only 10.7 hours. That's quite a quick spin. Third fun fact, Saturn rings are super thin, while they extend up to 175,000 miles. Saturn rings are remarkably thin, only about 30 feet thick in most parts. That's thinner than the length of our school bus. And the last one, Saturn has 83 known moons. As of 2021, Saturn has 83 confirmed satellites. The largest, Titan, is bigger than planet Mercury. Now it's time for a little fun quiz. Let's see who can answer these questions first. Here comes the first question. Who was the first person to observe planet Saturn? Second question, what are the Saturn's rings made of? And the last question, one of Saturn's satellites shares its name with home planet of Thanos, the Marvel supervillain. Name that satellite. So that space is full of mysteries waiting to be solved. So keep your curiosity alive, keep asking questions, and who knows what you might discover next. So future astronauts, until our next space adventure, keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to Kaizen Micro Lessons.